for real. Yeah. So Dilla, you know, we uh, those those that know you uh, know that you know for the last couple of years you you've had some uh, some health challenges. Is that something that how has that affected your art and and, and doing uh, doing business as an artist? Well, one of the things that it's a blessing we're in is that uh, being that this is all I do full time, I can take the breaks and you know during the day when I want to. A lot of times I may go to my studio and uh, with intention on painting and because of health issues um, I may not paint anything but I end up doing a lot of research and uh, and that works out that way. Um, and, and this like I said basically um, you just learn to be smarter. Uh, I don't do as many shows as I used to do. I select the shows that I do and, uh, and one of the things that I indicated earlier is that I've been blessed to do my collectors well, wherein is that now, um, as far as printing, I do prints, but very seldom I'll do in addition over 25 prints. And uh, because of that, uh, it's, um, um, it, um, it's helped my business a great deal because uh, people know that they're not, they're gonna get a piece of work that they're not gonna see it on everybody's wall. So I do mostly originals now, and uh, it works well for me. Okay. Uh, in closing, is there anything that that that, that you want to share with people? We, you know, one of our missions is to uh, try to usher. You know, what can we do to usher in a, a new generation of collectors, or help to inspire people, or educate people on collecting work by African American artists? What would you say to those people? I think one of the things that uh, I think I, I would start with the artists first. I think the artists need to take the position that I've taken, um, produce more, more, more work, but less uh, uh, the print market. I think they need to uh, go to um, limited editions, but limit the, quality, the quantity, and also to encourage uh, more collecting original pieces. And because I found out lately, in the last 10 years, 90% of my new collectors have been young black people. And uh, in order to do that, I try to do pieces to, uh, at a price range to encourage them to buy original pieces. And also, you have to be more flexible with them. Once you, uh, they start collecting your work, sometimes you work out a range and say, look, if you like this piece and it's a little bit more over your budget, we can do this piece on a six month period or eight month period. Right. And uh, and encouraging them to buy larger pieces when they go that way. So I think that's one of the things we need to look at. And just like I said, I think um, uh, the to encourage the collectors to, uh, younger collectors, because a lot of the collectors is older, they're gonna buy anyway. It's this good quality they're gonna buy. The young collectors need to focus on uh, an artist that's been established and one that they can build a relationship with. And we as artists need to learn to build relationships. This piece here is of, of amazing grace and it basically shows the actual slave ship and the way the slaves were laid out on the slave ship is the original score of the song itself with the raised keys on the keyboard and just like you said, with Amazing Grace, all the Negro spirituals can be played just on the black keys on the keyboard. And okay. that's why the black keys are raised. Gotcha. pieces you want to point out again. I like the one in the back and a lot of people like that's one of my newer pieces I just did that one the end of last year and it's called uh, let me see and it's a little girl waiting on a parade and she was about 18 months old and she pulled herself up just to, to see the parade coming and this one here is called Sunday morning tea and uh, it's a young uh, boy that plays golf 
and uh, I have the pair of that one, which is a, uh, a lady uh, golfer, which is a young female golfer on the other side. And these here are my monochromatic, mostly jazz and blues pieces. And uh, these are some additional uh, jazz and pieces, blues pieces. These here I started about 10 years ago because I started getting younger black collectors to encourage them to buy original pieces because they were buying prints for $120, $130 and uh, framed them and they have four or $500 in them. Where they said, with these, they're one of a kind originals. I don't reprint them. And uh, they're pieces that uh, they'll be the only one with one of them. And, uh, and this is my dance series. I did an entire series on dance as well as the jazz, the blues, and the heritage pieces. And this is the, the, um, the key figure to the other one, the little boy golfer. This is the little girl golfer. And also, this is the one that I call, uh, what you say, an old gentleman from New Orleans sitting on the porch. Always, I'm a black artist in America.